guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where we're going to be making some chocolate protein muffins. They turn out really delicious and super gooey, so make sure you give them a go. One thing to mention is last time I made these, I did forget to work out the carb count and the recipe is in cups. So I'm going to weigh out everything as I go and then leave the carb count for you in the description box. So if you do want to make them, all the calculations are already done for you. Another thing to mention is these can be really easily made vegan. The only thing that isn't vegan is the honey, but you can just swap that out for maple syrup. Same quantity, just a quick change. Also is my protein powder isn't vegan, but obviously really simple, just buy vegan protein powder and that is it. So that is all of the introduction that these muffins need. Let's get right into the video. As always, first step, and I nearly always forget it, but I remember today is to preheat the oven. Preheat the oven today to 170 degrees and make sure you have prepared your tray. I like to use these silicone muffin cases, just, oh sorry about that window, <laughs> um, just because they are so much better for the planet, you can just wash them and reuse them over and over again. But yeah, make sure you've got your muffin cases ready, lined your tray and let's get baking. So to start with, we are putting three tablespoons of coconut oil into a saucepan because we need to melt up the oil. No, I'll leave it. No, I'll never and then we are going to add a quarter cup of coconut sugar to the coconut oil. If you don't have coconut sugar, then demerara is a good swap. I actually don't have much left, so I may end up doing half and half. No, 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 it is so much easier when you don't have to weigh everything out to get the carb count. Oh my goodness. Then last addition to the saucepan is your honey or your maple syrup. Again, just a quarter of a cup. Then we're going to put this over a gentle heat on the hob to get the sugar melted and while that is all melting down we will sort out the dry ingredients. To your mixing bowl you want to add one cup of flour, either plain flour with then half a teaspoon of baking powder or just use self-raising flour. Oh my goodness, my cup is breaking. Right. Make sure to keep an eye on the saucepan and give it a little stir where needed. I'm going to add half a cup of chocolate protein powder. Again, if you want to make it vegan, just obviously use a vegan protein powder. If not, any protein powder will do. And then we're going to add one whole cup of the cocoa powder. I wanted to use cacao powder, but I ran out of that this morning. So it will just be straight up cocoa powder, but you can use either. Both will have the same taste, basically. And make sure to give the dry ingredients a good mix around. Once the oil and sugar mixture is all melted, then go ahead and pour that straight into the dry ingredients. Give a good mix in. This batter is super, super chocolatey. It's so nice. Finally, we're going to add two cups of milk. You can use whatever milk you want, cow's milk, almond milk, if you're doing a vegan option, or I'm using oat milk. Just whatever milk takes your fancy. I tend to add it a cup at a time, just so that it's not, so you know you're not over going, overdoing milk. It makes a really, really sloppy mixture at this point. Just make sure you give it all a good mix. Also make sure you don't get any big lumps of dry ingredients together. So it might need a bit of a beating. To be honest, this time I think one cup of almond milk or oat milk or whatever milk is actually gonna be enough. Cause I kind of want to make these ones really gooey. I'm just gonna add an extra quarter cup this time and I think that will do it to be honest. Now 
now is a great time to add any chocolate chips if you want to i obviously want to but i don't actually have any in the house at the moment thought i did and then i started making these and it turns out i don't so that is the mixture complete all that's left to do is add it to your muffin cases And that is it, some super simple, really quick, really easy and really gooey chocolate protein muffins. All that's left to do is pop them in the oven for about 18 minutes, but of course make sure to keep an eye on them because different ovens do vary. If you do make this recipe, please let me know in the comments below, I'd love to know what you think of it. And if you enjoy it, then make sure to check out my chocolate protein brownie recipe because those are also some super gooey high protein treats. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!